James and Rookie were best friends. James received the sturdy little bike on his 10th birthday as an extra special gift and loved him all the way through secondary school. He even had his graduation photo with Rookie. After the graduation party, Rookie said, Wow, that was one loud party, said Rookie, happily overwhelmed. Well, I guess it was worth it. Lots of other bikes to party with and free drinks. I guess old James is going, going to be my best friend forever. But that was about to change. A loud, big Humvee came speeding around the street outside James's house. Ugh, don't these things ever go away? asked Rookie in annoyance. It was a graduation present for James. When the car drove up around the house driveway, James was unfairly delighted to see it. When the car itself, named Clayton, spotted Rookie, it barked rudely at him. Hey! Yo! Kid! I'm Clayton, James's new best friend! Yelled Clayton rudely. Get off my porch, or I'll smog you to the moon! The Humvee let out a huge, horrid stench from its engine that burnt a bunch of innocent flowers into mulch. Hey, I'm Rookie, you smug. I've lived here for ten years, and look what you did to those poor flowers. Ah, oh, be quiet. Those flowers are even more worthless than you. Your days here are over, barked Clayton, just before James came round to test his new car. Come on, boy, let's take you out for a spin, said James, opening Clayton's door. Ha, you see? asked Clayton rudely. James already loves me. So long, loser, boasted Clayton and drove off quickly. Fuel pig, shouted Rookie. I hope this thing is over soon so I can be with him again with stay with James. I love that guy. But it didn't end soon. Rookie he stayed in the shed for several months and failed to get used once. Meanwhile, James was meanly going every everywhere in Clayton. Clayton, getting less and less exercise and eating more and more without considering its effects. He honked across the road, scaring all the innocent creatures. Great, you again, scaring all these people. Aren't you ashamed? asked Rookie in disgust as Clayton pulled outside the house. Oh, oh, don't blame me, chuckled Clayton. It's James. Just look at him! And James let out of Clayton to reveal his new image, which weirdly caught Rookie's eye. His buttons were burst, he put on twenty extra pounds and inches. His mother was furious and shouted at him angrily about the things he had done. But James didn't listen and walked away rudely to the TV before switching on National Geographic. It was showing a program on global warming. Please act now! Stop global warming, or else the whole of London could be drowned under 60 feet of water. Use bikes instead of Humvees and walk to work to work today, explained the television. But James shut off the TV show to something else. Heh, <laughs> mere fluff, he said rudely to the TV. But outside, the weather was getting worse. Hope James uses me again soon, or even now. Those clouds don't look good said Rookie, looking up at the black sky up ahead, and he was right. People had used their cars more and more, and a big storm, storm cloud grew, and gushed out rain, flooding the town and trapping in Clayton, James, and his family. Rookie was the first one to notice the big drown as he woke up. Water! WATER! he exclaimed after going into the pond. The water was so deep, James could barely swim through it, and the floods trapped Clayton in his garage, forcing him to stay put. James had no choice but to ride his best friend Rookie again, but it paid to do so. Despite an uncomfy start, Rookie and James pushed away the floodwaters and made it safe for everyone to come out. James received the A grade for slimness thanks to his best friend Rookie, and they all lived happily ever after.